Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, I hope you are all doing well. In this video series I will show you how I made this Axe 3D model in Autodesk Maya, Substance Painter, and render it out in Arnold. In this first part of the video series we will see how to make the model in Autodesk Maya, so let's get started. So here we are in Maya. First, let's import the reference image. Go to front view, and then from here, select view, then image plane, and then select import image. Select the reference image, and then click on open. Now then, I will start with the handle. Take a cylinder. I will slightly move the image plane in the center. Now scale up the cylinder in Y-axis to match the height of the handle. Turn on the X-ray mode to see it more clearly. And now, scale it down from the middle to match the width of the handle, and then scale it up from the Y-axis to match the height. I will keep this handle straight for now. Select Multicut tool and create two edge loops over here like this. Now go to face mode, drag and select these faces, then hold shift, right click and select duplicate face. Now then, select this mesh and apply center pivot. And now, extrude this mesh and then give some thickness. I will move back this image plane so that we can see our model properly. I will turn off the grid as well. And now, this much of thickness looks good for me. Now go to vertex mode and adjust the vertices according to the reference image. After that, go to face mode, select only these faces, and then extrude them out by holding shift key on your keyboard. And now, adjust the shape according to the reference image. Create edge loops wherever needed, and adjust the vertices to make the smooth shape. Do the same thing for the back portion as well. And now, select these front faces, and then extrude them out. After that, scale down these front faces from Z-axis, and bring them close together. And then scale down these edge loops accordingly. After that, select the multi-cut tool and create an edge loop here, and another edge loop here. 
Now then connect these two vertices and these two vertices. Now then, select these two edge loops and delete them to get the proper edge flow. After that, create supporting edges wherever needed to hold the shape. After adjusting all the edge loops, the edge flow of the mesh will look something like this. Now then, let's create the handle. I will move the image plane a little bit to the side so that we can see it more clearly. Now for this handle part, I will create the model with this straight cylinder which we have now, so that we have the symmetrical shape and we can adjust properly. And later on I will bend the whole thing according to the reference image. I will keep this part of the model in a layer, and hide the visibility of the layer. Now I will delete these edge loops which I created earlier. And now, I will create edge loops here, to create these ring decorations that we have in the reference image. And now, go to face mode, drag and select these faces, and apply duplicate face on them. Now then, select this object, and apply center pivot on it. And then, extrude out the faces, and give some thickness. After that, select these edge loops, and apply bevel on them. Adjust the fractions to match with the thickness according to the reference image. And now, create edge loops at the top and at the bottom of the model. Now then, select all these face loops. And then apply extrude on it. And now, give some thickness on them. After that, create edge loops from the center on each of these face loops. 
Now, select all the corner edge loops and apply bevel on them and adjust the fractions to give a soft round edges to the rings. And now I will delete the edge loops that I have created earlier. And then I will create this ring part using the same method. After that, create supporting edge loops on the inside corner edges by applying bevel on the edges. Now then, let's create this grip part. I will delete the previous edge loops. And then I will create new edge loops like this. Then select this faces and then apply duplicate face. As you can see, there are these slanting ring kind of things which we need to create. So for this, go to Insert Edge Loop Tools option box. Now from here, select multiple edge loops, and for number of edge loops, I will keep it 50. Now close this one, and click on the mesh. And this way we can create 50 edge loops with equal distance. After that, go to Edge Mode, drag and select all the inner edge loops. Then go to Create, then on Sets, and then click on Set. And now, in the outliner you can see, a set is created for these edge loops. Now drag and select all the faces, then hold shift, right click, and then choose poke face. Now select this set one, right click, and choose select set members. Now hold shift, right click, and delete the edges. This way you can create this kind of swirling edge loops for the mesh. Now then, go to face mode, select two loops simultaneously, then leaving couple of face loops, select another two. After that, apply extrude face on all of them, and then give some thickness to them. It is looking quite good. But here we can see that there is penetration happening over here, so I will fix this one by scaling them accordingly. Now here, we don't need these inner faces, so I will delete all these inner faces.
Now let's create these bolt kind of things which we have in the reference. Create a cube here. And then apply smooth to it. And then increase the division to 2. Then go to face mode, select all these back faces, and delete them. And now, apply center pivot on it, and then, scale it down and position it in the middle of this ring object. After that duplicate this object, and then place them on top of each of these rings. And then select all these objects, duplicate them and position them correctly at the back and on each sides of the ring objects. Again duplicate one set of these object, and place it on the top ring. Now, select this edge loop, and apply bevel on it. Then reduce the fractions, and increase the segments to give a smooth edge flow. And then do the same for this bottom edge loop. Now I will give some edge loops in this main part. Select insert edge loop tool, and then click on it to give some edge loops over here. Now then, move the image plane to its original position. Then select all these objects, and then delete the history. After that drag and select all the parts of the handle, then press Ctrl G to create a group for them. So here in the outliner, you can see there is a group created for these objects only. I'll rename this group as handle. Then select this group, and go to Deform, and then click on Lattice. Then from Channel Box, you can increase the T divisions, I will give 11 divisions to it. Now then, select the Lattice Deformer, then right click and choose Lattice Point. And now you can select these points and move them, to match with the reference image. Now then, after adjusting the shape, with the help of the lattice deformer, select the object, go to edit and delete the history. Now let's create this chain with polygon torus. First create one piece of this chain. Then set the pivot around here. Now press Ctrl D to duplicate, snap it down here, rotate it minus 90 degrees in Y axis. Now select both this object, duplicate them and then place it down here. And then press Shift D couple of times to duplicate them multiple times. Now select all these objects and combine them. After that create a CV curve like this over here, and then adjust the curve points and give it smooth shape. After that, select this chain geometry first, then shift select the curve, and then go to deform, and choose curve warp. Now you can select the curve points, and then adjust them to make it properly fit inside the holder.
The model is almost ready. And now, I will give some final touch to it, so stay tuned and enjoy. The modeling part is complete now. In the next video we will do the UV unwrapping of this model. Stay tuned for the next video. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.